Hey guys, Mr. Lossier here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do the f uh, the newest version, you know, 5.1 update of the on a. I'm going to show you how to do the Red Snow Jailbreak. It is tethered, and if you don't know what tethered means, tethered is where every time you have to like turn off your device or it goes dead or something, you have to plug it back in and just boot it. So yeah, it's. I mean, if you really just don't want to wait for the untethered jailbreak to come out, then this one is great. And it works perfectly fine. So, just to prove that I'm on 5.1, I'm going to go to Settings, General, About. And if you can see the 5.1 right there. Right there. So, yeah. So, you want to start... You want to start by turning your iDevice off and plugging it in. Alright, after you plugged it in, it's going to try to turn back on, but after it does that, you want to turn it back off. But take a second. I'm not going to cut anything out so you know you know how much the exact time is or anything like that this is the white edition iPod 4 or white model okay so let's turn it back off alright so now that that's off I'm gonna get this out of the way I am on a Mac so I don't know how to do this on a window but I'm pretty sure it will work uh, that's turning off. You want to download the um, the Red Snow Jailbreak from the. I'll have the um, link in the information below in the description. So yeah, after you get the jailbreak, you want to hit Jailbreak and install Cydia. Hang on, let me move my mouse. Okay. Okay, so you want to hit Jailbreak and install Cydia after you get here. So you're going to click Jailbreak, and, you know, you can read this if you want to, but you don't have to. So you want to hit Next, and then right immediately, hold the Power button, then hold the Power button and the hold bu Home button without releasing. And then, right now, release the Power button, and let the, and keep holding the Home button. And don't release until it'll say Done right here alright so that's when you can release and like I said I'm still holding the home button and, you know pairing everything patching like I said I'm not cutting anything out alright so when it comes to this screen that's on the computer oops, you want to click you don't want to check install custom bundle because that'll uncheck install Cydia which is the main reason why we're doing this is to get Cydia so hit next and it'll say waiting for reboot your i your i device should look like this and then just wait and let the computer do the magic this does take a while but hey and then your computer will, or your i device will run all the weird writings. I think it's kind of cool. And even though it says done right there like I was talking about, still just wait. Don't click cancel. Don't click back or anything until you know for sure that it's jailbroken. And it'll say like jailbroken successful and something like that. But like I said, I'm not going to cut anything out just so you know how long it's taken. And see, it'll come to this screen don't unplug, don't hit cancel, anything. Moving applications. This part does take a while. It'll be stuck about right there forever, but do not be impatient and start clicking buttons and everything. Just keep waiting, and it'll do the thing. Now, Jailbreak Me, that's a great one, but it only works on 4.2.1. And I, personally, I like the higher, I like the more updated versions of the software that you have. Like right now I'm on 5.1, just updated today. Mm -hmm. 
still on this screen. It's a little pineapple. I will hear in a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. At my grandma's house. So it's still going. This should be about a nine minute video, nine or ten. But please just watch the whole video. Make sure you subscribe at the end, rate, comment, like, thumbs up, not thumbs down. Like I said, this part is the longest part of the jailbreak, but do not um, be impatient and just start clicking buttons. It will start going and start moving. And at the end of this jailbreak, whenever you are done, you should go to, like, you should be able to click on Cydia and it'll crash, and then Safari will crash also. Um, Cydia turns, like, a white icon, and Safari does too, but it didn't on mine. It m does on most people's, but it might not on yours, so... Alright, and then right now it'll say installing bundles, if you can see that, and then it starts going fairly fast. Okay, and then it says rebooting, and the apple should come up. Sorry about how shaky I am, I'm holding my iPod in my left hand, I'm a right-handed. And I'm kind of sitting cockeyed behind this little box. <laughs> it's holding. I'm videotaping from another iPod 4th gen with 5.0.1. Alright, so here it is. And then we should slide to unlock. And then I have Cydia. It's the white app right there. See, I'll click on it and it crashes. See how it's kind of crashing? And then also Safari crashes also. So. What do you want to do? Let me get out of iPhoto. I don't know why it keeps doing this. Alright, you want to go to back and then. So at this main screen, oh, don't exit out of this while you're going. You want to go to, instead of jailbreak, hit extras because you're already jailbroke and go to just boot. That's what you have to do. So just boot. And once again, you want to turn your iDevice off. Wait till it powers off. And the next button will light up blue. Once again, don't be impatient. It's going to be very cool. So after this, you're basically in a real jailbreak. So hold the power button down. Hold both of them down. Release the power button holding the home button. Still holding it. And once it goes to this page, do not quit holding the button. Like I said, quit whenever it says done. And then the magic pineapple. Yay. Alright, now it says done. You can let go and let the iPod do the magic. And like it says right here above my iPod, you can't read that from this far away, I'm stupid. But um, it says the rest of this process will take place on your device. So after it reboots back up, you should have it. Just at nine minutes now, almost done. All right, there you go, it's rebooted back up. Unlock, all right, you can go to Cydia. You can see it's now the regular label. You can click on it and yay. It works. Alright, and here's Cydia. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that's how to get Cydia on a Red Snow Jailbreak with um, the newest ver uh, software update uh, 5.1. So anyway, uh, please rate, subscribe, comment, and like, thumbs up. So thanks for watching, yeah, bye.